All right, guys, today we're gonna to talk about how long can I go without cutting myself with this here knife. So what this is in all reality is the Mantis Knives Fly Switch. And today I wanna to go over what this knife is outside of it just being a ballast song and kind of talking about my first ballast song, my impressions of it, and why I think this one actually is pretty darn cool or why it makes a very compelling case. So without any further ado, guys, let's talk about the Mantis Knives Fly Switch. So first off, like I said, this is, of course, as you guys can probably tell, a ballast song. If you couldn't already notice me, flipping it around of course it's a little bit hard to uh, showcase on the camera because I have to kind of like back up for you guys to actually get like a full view of it and aside from that too like this is also my first ballast song so I don't have uh, any special or cool tricks yet uh, with this knife but you know maybe I'll learn I'll pick up a few but either way I do know how to open the knife and properly close it as a ballast song and that is probably the most important thing is uh, knowing how to open and close your knife so yeah that part I do know how to do. So aside from that, this, like I said, is the fly switch, and the fly switch is one of several variants that uh, Mantis Knives makes that Mantis Knives makes. And the reason why I chose the fly switch in particular is for the fact that, as you guys know, I'm definitely a big fan of recurved blades. And as you guys can probably see, this fly switch has a heavily recurved blade to it, and it just looks awesome. Now, once again, as I've said in other videos, I don't necessarily think that, you know, like recurves are the most practical or realistic blade shape out there for doing everything, but they are pretty cool. And when you get a knife such as a Balasong, in my opinion, you know, it's probably not going to be a main line, you know, knife that you're going to be using for every single task out there. So, you know, having something that's a little less practical is totally fine, in my opinion, at least. That's at least my mindset to it, and that's why I chose it. Now, another thing I will say is this is a chonky piece of 154 cm blade steel on this guy. This is close to a quarter inch, if not a quarter inch, but honestly, I think that's pretty common when it comes to ballast songs, because when it comes to ballast songs, similar to other gravity knives, this is a gravity knife, so you need to be able to swing it around round and of course if you have a very light very thin blade stock it's going to be harder to flip it and you know get that blade to work with gravity so uh, that's probably why they chose a thicker chunky kind of blade stock to it however I will say this is a very high um, flat grind to it so it is pretty darn slicey so I don't really have a problem with the blade stock especially knowing that it kind of needs to be that thick in order to make it you know fly well so those are a few kind of things about it. It also is worth noting that it does have titanium handles. And of course, it is made here in the good old US of A. Now, one thing that I do find pretty cool about this blade, and I think one thing that um, made me chose yeah, made me choose it over other um, models, Bala songs out there, is the fact that it does use this really cool blade exchange system. So if you guys have been noticing right here, these, these there's kind of these button locks here, and so I'll pull this one off. And as you can see here, this uh, system is literally just a uh, blade exchange kind of uh, setup. So if you take both of your handles off, you can buy either things like trainer blades, like this guy here, or you can buy um, other blade shapes for this and get that ability to just pop these handles off, take this handle, put it on another blade, and be good to go. So I think that's a really cool feature. That is something that honestly, I, I haven't seen on any other ballast songs. I think it's really cool, pretty darn unique to this um, blade and definitely makes it, I think a little bit, uh, I don't know if I'd say like more functional, but it definitely kind of makes it a little bit more worth it, especially when you consider the trainer blade, which I'll talk about in just a little bit here that you can get for a decent price and that allows you to get into the ballast song with a live blade and then use the trainer blade to you know like practice tricks to train with to get better or more proficient with your skills and then go back to your main blade for carry for use for competition uh, whatever you'd like so anyways now let's actually talk about this trainer blade and for that i will actually um, swap blades so that I'll have the trainer blade on here. So like I said, super simple. All you have to do is literally just take these handle scales, pop them off, um, then take your blade, whichever one you're using. This could be another live blade. It could be this trainer blade. And then just, you know, swap them on and off. 
So super easy, super fast, and they make it pretty darn hard to mess up. So there we go, got the trainer blade on there. As you guys can see, this guy is dull. It cannot cut me at all. Now, the one thing I will say about these trainer blades is you do want to note that they are dull as far as the cutting edge goes, but the tip is still very, very sharp. So um, it's not necessarily like, um, cutting sharp but you could easily stab yourself with this so one thing i would recommend if you do get the trainer blade like i did probably take this tip off if you're going to be doing any kind of tricks where you're like going to be fl uh, like slinging this thing into the air and then trying to re-catch it um if you do anything like that this can still definitely stab you so it is worth noting it's not a live blade like this one here but it still definitely is sharp enough to inflict some damage if you were to like accidentally have it land on you or land on something. In addition to, I think the other thing that's worth noting, um, and I'm not sure if this is like a pure design of the trainer, but the trainer is not something that you can like close. So with the normal blade, you can close it in on this, um, on your blade, of course, naturally. But on the trainer, this one's just a little bit too big and it actually hits, um, I'm trying to see where exactly it hits. I think it hits the stop pin back here. And so you can't quite close it, so you couldn't carry it with the trainer, unfortunately, but for practice, you know, this is totally fine. So yeah, anyways, that is the trainer blade. I would say it's probably worth it. I would say it's probably worth it because especially considering, um, you know, like how much, how easy it is for you to hurt yourself with a battle song. Um, it is nice to have a trainer blade and with how simple and fast it is, like once again, I'll show you, uh, it is super simple, super fast to put these um, handles back on and make a live blade or safe blade. So I really like the trainer um, aspect to it. And I think it is super cool that they offer that uh, feature, especially considering that it does already have this really cool quick detach uh, system to it. So as far as it goes, obviously um, I haven't had this thing terribly long. I have flipped it for a little while now to kind of get my experience so I don't look like a complete fool when like opening or closing as I completely embarrass myself there. But you know, like, um, so I don't look like a complete dummy. So I have been playing around with it and it seems totally fine. The blade exchange system works reliably and obviously there's no issues with it. Um, obviously there's gonna be play and a little bit of slop in any battle song. It's just kind of the nature of the beast because of how battle songs are, you know, they have to flip. So you're not going to have an incredibly like tight tolerance uh, battle song. And you know, it just kind of doesn't make a lot of sense. But as far as it goes, you know, as far as like the actual use deployment action everything seems to be pretty darn good on it and uh, I will say the other thing I kind of like and it's a really minor feature it's probably hard to see but I really do like the jimping here and of course they have jimping over here if you guys can see that there I really do like that jimping though because it does allow you to get some kind of um you know, traction on the back. So if you hold the knife like this, like you're actually going to cut with it, it does give you some traction. So it's pretty cool, pretty functional. Um, definitely recommend checking it out. I will say too, and finally closing it out, if you guys really do want to get one of these cool Bala songs, I did work with Mantis Knives to get you guys a 20% discount for the month of June. So if you guys are watching this, this month, um, just go down to this, the description below. It'll be, uh, or I'll include the promo link there. It will be all caps Alaskan 23 and that will get you guys 20% off of a Bala song. So whether it's the fly switch or any of their other models, it will get you guys 20% off. So I think that's pretty darn cool and uh, definitely gets you guys way. If you are really thinking about getting a Bala song to add to your collection, I would definitely recommend checking this guy out. It is pretty darn cool. And uh, yeah, so overall, that is what I got to say about this mantis fly switch definitely worth a check out and uh if you guys are wanting to flip uh knives or get into battle songs it is pretty cool so yeah that is what i have to say in conclusion hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you guys enjoyed looking at this battle song and so far i have not cut myself with it so i'm gonna try to keep it that way anyways guys as always god bless and i'm out